Hey everyone, Boone here. On today's episode of Monday Maps, I'm going to show you how you can give your maps this paper texture using displacement maps and simple blend modes. As always, if you want to see more cool content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So I have a new After Effects project set up here and I've imported this map that I'll be using. This is a simple screenshot of Iceland and the resolution of this particular layer is 1920 by 1080. You can see it up here. And this is important to pay attention to. You wanna keep track of what the resolution of your layers are and you'll see why a little bit later in the tutorial. To create a new sequence or comp, I'm just gonna grab this map image and I'm gonna drag it over this button here. Now I have my new comp. So for the textures, I'm gonna be using this premium product called PQ Grit Kit 2. If you want to take a closer look at this, please follow my affiliate link in the video description. As it says here, it's over 160 real macro photographed animated royalty free high resolution textures designed for blending in Adobe After Effects. And there's a ton of different categories. They're really, really cool, really, really well put together. Now, if you don't want to buy this just yet and you'd still like to follow along with the tutorial, you can do a simple Google search of crumpled paper and then go to images and then under tools, make sure you select usage rights and filter it out by labeled for reuse with modification just to be safe. And then just pick up one of these lighter ones. Um, there's a bunch of different options here. So I've already imported my PQ grid kit set here. This is 2K, I think it's also available in 6K. And down here, I'm gonna grab a paper and card texture. You can see there's just a bunch of different options. This is so cool. Um, I'm gonna select, I have crumpled paper, brown paper wide, brown paper tight. I'm gonna go with brown paper wide and I'm just gonna simply bring this over uh, the, the Iceland map. You can see it's a little bit bigger than my comp and I wanna keep it constrained to those proportions. So I'm gonna go and right click, transform, fit to comp and now that snaps it right to my 1920 by 1080 comp. So to blend it, I can really quickly go to blend modes and just switch this to multiply. That's gonna give us some good results right off the bat. And I can control the intensity of this by just adjusting the opacity if I want. Or if I wanna get a little more specific, I can go to the effects and presets panel and search for curves or even levels, apply that to my texture and then you know start to play with it a little bit. I can I can bump up the contrast if I want to go nuts with it, or um, you know adjust the black levels and the white levels. But one thing about this is if I zoom in, you can see on the corners here. It's really noticeable with these that this is not following the contours of those uh, those folds in the paper, and that's what I want it to do. You can really notice it um, with the text, and if I if I grab the map and I move it around a little bit, you can see that it's really not moving with those with the shadows and the and the folds in the page. So how do we make that work? Well, I'm going to be using an effect called displacement map. Now, if you go under the distort section of effects and presets and scroll down, you can see it right here, displacement map. So we need to choose a layer that we're going to be using as our what, what you might call a control layer. So I'm gonna grab this texture, I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna bring it underneath my Iceland map, and I'm gonna rename it Displacement Map. Now I'm gonna grab the Displacement Map effect and apply it to my source layer, which is the map. And you can see right away, something's going on. Now, let me quickly simplify and explain how a Displacement Map works, because it can be a little intimidating and confusing for new After Effects users. So essentially what we're doing is we have a control layer and we have a source layer. The displacement map effect is applied to our source layer, which is the Iceland map. Now we need a control layer to control how we're gonna distort it. So the control layer is this displacement map layer. So I need to set that first. I'm gonna go over here and set the control layer to displacement map. Now over here, we have the amount that it's gonna be displaced. So if I just isolate my displacement map layer, this is our control layer. Essentially what we're doing here is we're taking the pixel values and using that information to distort our source layer. And we can control that distortion via the displacement map effect. So you can see right here, we have the displacement map layer mapped and we just need to set how we want to displace it. So we want to control the shadows, you know, the brightness levels. So we're gonna set these to luminance 
And now we can start to bump up the displacement to really see what's going on here. I like to zoom in real close and you find text. Now I set these back to zero and it looks like something's wrong because as I bump these up, it just starts to disintegrate. Now the reason that is, is because it's displacing the grit as well. You can see the grit and the fine detail in these textures. So I want to blur these out a bit to lose the grit, but not too much to lose the folds in the paper. Now, before we do that, I need to finish what's going on here. One other really important parameter is displacement map behavior. Now that's how this layer is being applied to the source. One really important thing is we want the displacement map to match this top texture. So we can already see the folds because of this top texture. Now we need the displacement map to match that. Otherwise, the effect's not gonna work at all. So I already had this one. You, if you remember, I transformed that to fit the comp, which is also fitting the layer. So we need to do that, the same thing for our displacement map. I just need to switch the behavior to stretch map to fit, and that's gonna fit it to the layer. And I'm gonna also select wrap pixels around to make sure our edges look good. Now, what I need to do is search for that blur and apply that blur to my displacement map. Let me just crank this up real high to see what effect it's having. Now it's not having any effect, and that's because under the displacement map effect, I need to set the control layer to accept effects and mask. And once I do that, you can see now this is working. However, I'm gonna go back to the map layer I need to adjust the blur and find a good mix of not losing those folds because it looks like it was losing those folds. Okay, so it's set to three right now. I zoom way in. Now this looks horrible. So let's bump it up to like 10. Okay, it's looking better. We're losing the, the grit. I set it to 20 maybe. Let's just have a quick look at our animation now. And there's one really good frame that's gonna help us kind of tell and it's this one right here because there's this really heavy fold in the paper here. So now I can adjust this and uh, see. If I bring the blur down too much, it falls apart. So we're gonna find a nice mix. Looks like we need to bump it up even a little higher so we can go to 30. Now the last thing I wanna set up is I want my texture to you know follow the map. Because right now, if I move this map around, I wanna scale it up. So if I scale it up right now, you, you're, you're gonna see I instantly lose the effect. So the displacement map, is mapping to this layer and sticking to it, um, but our texture is not. So this is a simple fix. I just need to parent that paper texture to my Iceland map. And now I'm gonna lock that, that texture off so I don't accidentally grab it. But now if I scale this up, you can see voila, everything is following along. I'm gonna drag this over and center it. Now if I play this back, boom, we have a nice looking map. And again, I can adjust the intensity by just going to the opacity of my top uh, texture layer. I can bring this out a little bit, you know, make it a little more subtle, adjust those curves. One other power tip, let's say uh, I wanna take a look at a few different textures. I can open up the paper and card textures again, and I'm gonna lock off the map. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna quickly swap out the textures. So I need to swap out the displacement map and the top texture. So to do that, I'm just gonna grab another example here, and I need to select my layer. And then as I hold the Alt key, that's just gonna do a quick replace. So I'm gonna replace both the texture on top and the displacement map with the same thing. And now we can take a look. I can basically cycle through a bunch of different looks quickly. Here's a wavy paper, let's see what this looks like. So as always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, that really helps. And if you wanna see more content related to this, I have two different playlists. I have one playlist called Monday Maps, where I do a lot of animated maps in Adobe After Effects and using a few other tools. And I have a second playlist called Tuesday Tools, where I do reviews of After Effects scripts and plugins. That's a really fun series, so go check that out. And if you just wanna see more of my content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. All right, I'll see you in the next one.